What's going on guys? Welcome back to another One Minute Wednesday. Uh, today I just want to do a quick review of my Abby Garcia that I just bought. Um, it's a new baitcaster. It's actually my first baitcaster. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick review. I know this is going to go past a minute, but it's just something that I wanted to share and hopefully it helps you guys out and if you're picking a new, uh, picking out a new rod and reel or something like that. So let's go ahead and uh, throw a minute on the clock and we'll get started. So like I said, this is the uh, Abby Garcia Pro Max. Uh, it's a seven foot medium heavy. Um, I, I bought this as a combo. I, I think it only comes as a combo, but I'm not totally sure. But anyways, I, I was really amazed with the uh, the quality on this this rod and reel. It's the the rod is super strong. It really feels like it could take a lot of weight. Like it, I feel like you could boat flip a, a pretty large bass, and you know it should be totally fine. You don't have to worry at all. But I do really like the rod. It, it throws a uh, I think I have a half ounce spinner bait on there right now, uh, or maybe it's three eighths or something like that. Anyways. Uh, it throws a it throws spinner baits really well. Um, that's the only thing I've used so far. But anyways, I put braid on there because I've never used braid before. So I was like, you know, what? if I'm getting a new, if I'm trying something new, this is my first bait caster. If I'm trying something new, I also want to try uh, maybe some new line, a different type of line. And I put braid on there just to see how it works. And uh, I actually really enjoy braid. So that's another thing. I think this I think this reel works really well with braid. As for the reel, I believe it's a seven to one gear ratio. It's just a really sturdy, it's the same as the rod. It's just a really strong, sturdy uh, reel. It, it feels like this thing can take a lot of abuse. A lot of, you know, throwing in truck beds, uh, dropping it on the ground. And it, it, it sounds like it's gonna be totally fine. The drag is pretty good. I, I think that, I think like a lot, like a lot of the adjustments on here um, if you don't know what you're doing you can rats in this really bad and that's what I had trouble with so I think like it's a lot of fine-tuning and I feel like they could find a way to make maybe make it easier for a beginner to use um, I know this isn't really a beginner rod and reel but but still I feel like there's a way that they can you know make this more like I don't even know what the word is just more 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 just easier for beginners to use like me But like I said the reel is really good and I picked it up quick So I mean if this is, if you're buying your first base caster I wouldn't be scared of completely messing up your line and having to re-spool it or anything like that I haven't had to yet, but anyways, I I think this is like one of the best rod and reels I've ever bought You know, I have a I have several spinning rods. I have a fly rod that I just absolutely love but I think this is my new favorite uh, rod and reel. So if you guys are looking at picking one of these up, I would definitely recommend the seven foot medium heavy. That's what this one is um, with the seven to one gear ratio. Uh, it's just a, it's a great combo, it really is. Um, I think they're about a hundred bucks or so, but I got mine on sale for 80 cause it was like on clearance or something like that. So anyways guys, that's it for this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I might do a more in-depth one as far as the as far as the reel coming up, but I don't know about that yet. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. That's it for this one minute Wednesday, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.